At the beginning of this month, fellow maker Allie posted her annual Hack-A-Pumpkin challenge on Twitter. This is a fun way to get people involved in hacking and making things. Now, I didn't put together a costume. Instead, I wanted to hack a pumpkin to participate in Allie's challenge. Two years ago, my buddy Nick Poolover at SparkFun created a tiny smoke machine using a vape pen. Now, he put this thing behind my monitor and pranked me. I thought for about half a second that smoke was coming out of the back of my computer. But the idea was there. It's a tiny fog machine. I mean, how cool is that? I knew I had to incorporate it into my pumpkin project somehow. Then I got to thinking, why scare someone when you can disgust them? So I made a pumpkin that farts. <laughs> The first order of business was to build the fog machine and make sure it works. I followed a guide on Instructables which had you purchase a particular e-cigarette and then provide power to the heating element of it. The trick from there was to hook up a pump to the back of it which would pump air through the e-cigarette and then cause a billow of smoke to come out of the top. Now you can actually use commercial fog juice for this which turns out to work really well. Alright! Yeah! To make all of this work, I used an Adafruit Feather M0 Express and I was running CircuitPython on it, which made the programming part very easy. I could read an audio file on the board, pipe it out to a SparkFun audio amplifier, and then out to a speaker. This allowed me to play any sound that I wanted. I also used a PIR sensor to detect when trick-or-treaters were approaching. I needed two beefy transistors to control the vape pen and pump. The vape pen would happily draw around 2 amps and the pump at least a few hundred milliamps at 12 volts. After testing everything, it was time to solder it all up. I found that solderable breadboards are my favorite way to make some of these projects a little more permanent. The other thing I did was added a NeoPixel stick so that I could create a fire flicker effect. This made it look like the jack-o'-lantern had a candle inside of it. The idea was fairly simple. Trick-or-treaters would approach the pumpkin, the PIR sensor would detect their presence, and then trigger the rest of the sequence. First, the NeoPixels would turn red, kind of making it look like the jack-o'-lantern was angry. Next, a sound would be played, and then the pump and e-cigarette would emit a puff of smoke. A couple of months ago, while working on my toaster oven mod to make a reflow oven, the kit that I bought used soft sheet metal, specifically aluminum, to mount the electronics. The little strips of aluminum could be easily cut and bent into shape as you needed, and this is now my new favorite way to mount electronics for projects. Which means I got a new toy. My first cut with a power nibbler was not so great. Nothing that another pass and a lot of sanding couldn't solve. From there, I could cut and bend the aluminum so that it barely fit in the cavity of the pumpkin. And then it was just a matter of marking and drilling holes so that I could mount all the electronics. Notice that I used a twist tie for the PIR sensor. This allowed me to move the PIR sensor up and down so that it perfectly fit in the mouth of the jack-o'-lantern. After that, it was just a matter of shoving it all into the pumpkin. And now, for the piece de resistance. We've got lights, we've got sounds, and I needed something to assault the olfactory senses. There's nothing like the foul fragrance of a fabulous flatus. I found that half fog juice and half fart juice made for a particularly repulsive funk that lingered in the air for quite some time. I'm not even sure the trick-or-treaters would want the candy after smelling this. With everything buttoned up, it was time to run it through its paces. <laughs> In hindsight, I don't recommend trying this indoors. Because I wanted this video to come out before Halloween, I needed to find some unsuspecting victims. <laughs> That's great. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Oh god. Oh my god, that is so gross. If you're interested in building your own or something like it, you can find a link to the code in the description. The code should show you which pins were used so you know how to hook the peripherals up to the M0 Express. I hope you have a safe and spoopy Halloween, and happy hacking!